Hey everyone, well, I'm just shooting a beam right now. It's this new app that's, uh, yeah, oh wait, someone's here. Oh, it's right. a duel. Hey, what's up? You making a movie? Yeah, it's on that new beam app. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have you used it yet? No. Oh. Okay. Alright, well, see ya. See ya. Anyway, yeah, the app is called Beam, B-E-M-E, -E, like Beamy. -E. Basically, it's like Snapchat, but there is a pretty significant difference. And that's, you don't actually ever see what you're doing, and you never see your own posts. This is interesting, because it takes away from you thinking about what you're doing and whether you look good, it's just you, it's just what you're doing, and that's really cool. So, other people will do that as well, and you can watch their own, but there's zero notifications. There's, you don't get notified when someone follows you, you don't get notified when someone puts on a new beam, I guess you would call it. And this has its good things and its bad things. So, let's go through them. Good thing. There's no actual button you have to hit. You just cover up the proximity sensor and it starts going. Which means you can just kind of walk around hands free, do whatever you're doing, and that's your video. And wait four seconds. And that's sent. It's sent off. No looking at it. Cool. Bad thing. Things are just posted. You don't know what they look like, how they look. Essentially, it's the equivalent of people just being able to continuously upload garbage to the internet. Who knows what you're gonna be uploading? Like, I'd say 80% of what I've seen so far, and I've seen a lot, because I'm doing this review kind of, is someone looking at down at their legs or their pants and then looking up and not really knowing and it's like out of focus I'm sure the camera's trying to figure out if it's in focus or not what the exposure's like you don't know any of these things so that's kinda bad good thing so the fact that the app is only an outwarding message system all you can take in is facial expressions back you can send out anything you want at any time never see it and you honestly don't care about what you're sending. I think that's a good thing. But it really surprised me. After the first day, I was like, uh, is that really true? But then this morning I woke up and really devoted to using it a lot. Like, I mean a lot. I was actually trying to, I was doing stories, which I'll show you a tip in a second. I was doing stories about them uh, this morning and just setting it up and doing different shots. And the fact that no one can give you feedback, which I'm really bad with dealing with negative feedback from people. Uh, keep sending. And the internet is famous for negative feedback. And in this situation, the app provides zero negative feedback. You just send out and you see that people have watched it. You get the time, amount of people have watched it, and the time that people have spent watching your stuff. No feedback. Which is great because you don't need feedback for this kind of stuff. You're not going to get some amazing piece of information that's going to make you suddenly magically good at Beam. You're just going to use it with what you're doing and it's just fun. So like your friends or whoever can watch you doing it. And that surprised me. Bad thing. This kind of goes along with what I just said. You don't get any feedback, but if you don't think of it as feedback, you think of it as intercommunication, there's zero intercommunication. There's only output. Like I said, you get an expression back from your friends or whoever of them watching. And it's interesting, but you're not getting any actual information back from them. You're not communicating. It's not a communication app, at least not yet. And with that, I think of it more as an 
anti-social network. It's just you projecting your own vision out to the world with no communication coming back. In the sense of being a social network, this is a bad thing. If they want to market it as something different, then I can understand that. Here are a couple of tricks that I've picked up from using it all day and some things that I didn't realize at first, but I realize they're useful now. Because you don't need any hands on the actual phone, this one I think I saw in Casey's vlog today, but I was also using it earlier when I was cooking some food and doing a little bit of a food story. This is interesting. Let me just do it now and I'll send a beam at the same time. Put in your pants, hands free. It's recording. Doing the vlog. Doing the vlog, people. Then, yeah, it's kind of funny. And that's a really good way to get like a perspective and still have your hands. This is another good one that I discovered today. Again, while I was cooking and your hands are all dirty, you don't want to touch the phone. I like this a lot. And this touches on the whole thing about doing cutscenes. Not being able to do cutscenes in like Snapchat and stuff like that. So. Say so I'm about to walk through here and I want to show that I'm moving from one scene to the other in my little beam movie. I can go like this and lean it against something, it's recording. Beam. These are actually posting by the way on my beam, Sean Hodgins, it'll be in the link. So you do that, you lean against that, you've got the shot of you walking. There are always going to be shots of you walking away but that's fine. Then it automatically stops, which is great, posts, and won't post again until you pick it up. So that is like a huge positive. And it works so well. You can just like lean it against something while you're doing something. It's great. I love it. So here are some thoughts that I have on the app. Just after using it for now, 30 hours? I don't know, something like that. It's late, the second day I had it, so I got it activated right away. Initial thoughts on it, I was not impressed. Just because of who created it. Casey Neistat. Anyone who's seen my vlogs knows that he's a huge influence on my style. I knew this app was going to be a Snapchat-like app, which is fine. Competitors in industry are a great thing. They create innovative, innovative products. That's, that's the whole idea of having a competitor. And I knew this because he slowly stopped Snapchatting stories, like I was big into Snapchatting stories. I'm big into Snapchat myself. So I knew he was going to be an app something similar to that. But what I actually thought, here's, here's what I thought he was going to produce. I thought that he was going to make a Snapchat style app. I might be giving away a cool idea here. If someone wants to do it, I don't have time to develop apps, so by all means, go for it. Snapchat style app that you can cut, splice, and edit your takes and you can upload something that is a clean version where the camera can record itself like the iPhone camera because Snapchat you can't do that and where you can clean up all the shots and you can do little cutscenes like that's the way I like to do my vlog is setting up a, a shot you know, walking by or driving by and then trimming that off and making it look like somewhat more polished than a normal vlog. And I, th that was my thinking. That's what I thought was going to be in this app. This threw me for a bit of a loop because he's so interested on trying to make something a certain way and having it look nice and people finding their own style. And himself as a filmmaker, I couldn't see designing an app like this because it's all the work is less polished. It's just like the stuff you find at the bottom of, of YouTube or anything that like doesn't get a lot of views because there's no real content in it. There's no thought being put into it. And for the average user, I should mention. So that's what surprised me. Because 
watching his vlog and watching his videos and having an opinion of what Casey thinks about things is that this app feels like it's almost the opposite of his opinion. People may disagree with me, that's fine. That's just my thinking. And I know it's going to be popular. The top YouTubers, the top Snapchatters, Chandra's, Ben Brown, everyone's going to use it. People are going to use it. And I'm going to try to use it. I'm not saying it's terrible. It's just not what I was expecting. So there's a lot of things, a lot of issues wrong with the app. That's understandable. It's a new app. Wait, why don't I do issues right now? So with this app, it's fresh. It's supposed to be an update in a week. But there are a number of problems and a number of things that I think could be improved upon. One, sometimes it'll just post if you cancel it right away. I don't know if that's going to do it this time. But sometimes... There. Posting what? What did it just post? I canceled that. It shouldn't have posted anything. So beware of that because it could be recording even though it says canceled. posting and I don't know what it posted so that brings me to the next issue and I know this one's not going to change being able to delete posts I see this being a big issue in the future maybe not not for me like I'm never gonna post anything stupid but people are and not having that option is a big deal I guess you just need to be careful of who you have on your list which brings me to the next problem you can add and follow anyone you can watch anyone's content you can find anybody there's no approval process and there's no approval and there's no notification which brings me to my next problem notifications there are zero notifications which is fine it's fine because it makes you go into the app but maybe you want to be notified when one of your friends posts something. That's a big deal for a lot of people. Not for me. I'm not watching too many people's beams. I'm just posting my own and figuring out like how to use the app basically. And this keeps posting when I'm not putting my hand on it. I'm gonna close it. So, I'm gonna keep the phone. Those four issues will need to change being able to delete things, that's a big thing. So I don't know what the next update is going to bring. Maybe like a profile for the user, an image or something for their name. I don't know. I mean, it's a new app. I understand everything. I know that first takes on things are always full of issues. So I'm not talking things like that, but that one issue is kind of major, the fact that it posts when you just swipe and it cancels. I don't know what it's filming. But all in all, it's growing on me. I know you weren't expecting me to say that. It is growing on me because of the fact that there is no feedback. If I don't think of it as a communication app where I can talk to my friends and I can just think of it as me getting more of my content out, you know that I like to vlog that I like to do pictures, I can tell people that I'm vlogging or my website or my Instagram or where I'm taking pictures. I can do all these things. It's great. And it's so quick and I don't have to touch and I don't have to look to see if it's actually recording like Snapchat you do have sometimes and you don't have to hit story. I love all of that stuff. It's great. It's so simple and I think that's what Casey was going for which is it's very smart. I think with those improvements that I said it would help a lot but I still see the app taking off just the way it is. It's interesting. It's new. It's a very creative thought with the use of a phone and I'm excited to see where it goes with it because I like being an early adopter of things. I like getting in early and watching it progress basically so I didn't do that really with snapchat but I really got into it and started making stories a lot and I'm still into snapchat a lot because it's just fun and I like watching the movie after I've made it to see if it makes sense but I like 99.99% .99 of the time I don't delete anything from snapchat so it's really no different than this are they the same app no I don't think so 
Will people use both Snapchat and Beam? Yeah, absolutely. It's just going to happen. So this was just a, a long rant. I thought it was interesting. It's coming out, and obviously, with what I'm doing, it fits in to the whole thing. Camera is overheating for some reason. I don't know why uh, it's been doing that. It's really hot in here. So, yeah, it's exciting. If you can get an activation key, sorry, I can't send any more out because they've shut it down probably until next week. They're probably testing the servers or something. So get in, try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like the video, and if you want to subscribe, I never say this, but if you want to subscribe, that would be awesome. I'm making videos all the time. Check out my other videos. And uh, this one's just been a long talk, but I thought I think it's necessary, and I had some opinion on this, and I wanted to get it out, which is great. So with that, try Beam, and... Good night and be good.